And for this, I need a volunteer. Um, and there was a, a very keen, oh yes, you're very keen. Yes, if you can come down, please. Okay, what's your name then, please? Julian. Ju sorry, Julian. Julian. Julian, okay, if you can come over here then, please. All right, now, all I want you to do is I'm going to open this tap in a minute and let the water out. And you just want to catch the water in the bucket. If you, so if you come down here to make it a little bit harder for you. Okay, so you're going to catch the water. You ready? It's very tricky. You ready? Okay. Oh, you missed it. You missed it. That's it. Move. That's it. It's over there. Right. Now you just catch that. Is that difficult or is it easy? Easy. Ha. Huh. Right. So what I've got here is a plastic rod. And I can charge this up with some static electricity by rubbing it. Okay, so give it a good rub here. Now watch what happens when I bring it near to the stream of water. Ooh. It's deflected. Let's try this again. Whoa. Uh, catch it, catch it, move, move, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. <laughs> ah. Okay. Bit harder now, isn't it? Yeah, okay, well thank you very much. It's a little bit wet, thank you. So what was happening there, the static electricity in the charged rod could deflect the stream of water, but this could only happen because of the unsymmetrical distribution of the charge around each water molecule. More charge, more negative charge on the oxygens, more positive charge over the hydrogens. And it's these that give rise to the hydrogen bonding.